In this video, we're going to talk about how to create a TAP interface on a Palo Alto. Now, TAP, basically, if you have a network that already exists with a lot of devices on it, So you have a network with lots of devices on it, and what you wanna do is you want to simply listen in to all the traffic that's on that device. Uh, what would happen historically is you would create what's called a tap. You would essentially plug onto the wires that are there, and then you would run that off to some sort of a device. Uh, that device would then monitor all the traffic that is going back and forth amongst all the devices on that network. This is oftentimes referred to as a tap, or in uh, the Cisco world, um, this can be called a span port uh, that basically just copies all the traffic happening on a network to another device. This is essentially the same thing that happens in Palo Alto. Uh, you're able to connect a span port or a tap port uh, off of a switch or other network device and then monitor everything that's happening on that network with the Palo Alto. It's a great way to be able to monitor everything that's going on uh, without causing any negative impact to the environment that's on there. So the great thing about spans, completely passive and non-intrusive to the network. The bad thing about spans is you can't police the traffic at that point. You're simply monitoring and reporting. But let's go ahead and check it out. So on the Palo Alto, we come again back to network and over to zones. And we specify we need to create a new zone. So let's go ahead and add. Uh, we'll call this one um, tap monitor. Uh, type is going to be tap, right? And then we'll go ahead and say OK. Come back to interfaces and we'll look at whichever physical interface we want we have that we want to tap in. I'll just choose 1.8. Uh, go ahead and see interface type is defaults to tap. Specify the security zone that we have. And that's about it. We say OK and then commit. So that tap interface is just going to sit there and it's going to monitor network traffic that's happening on those interfaces. It will then report on it, and then you can do uh, daily or uh, you know uh, live reporting or uh, daily PDF reports to be able to present up with regards to what type of traffic, what kind of issues you might be having, or so on. 